Welcome back to Metropole Debrief with me and Dora Ganga. Time now for Social Watch. And we are here on Twitter at Ken Wamasebu says, Very true, Kenya has been exposed to concessional borrowing to finance and facilitate corruption at the expense of struggling Kenyans. Let's take a look at another tweet. Quick one. Did they factor in a corruption budget? That's to ensure development kitty is safe. Your two cents on <laughs> Sesi Masi's thoughts? Well, very quickly, I would say that the, the, the dangerous borrowing is not concessional, it's commercial borrowing. So just to correct uh, th that particular one. Mm -hmm. It's the commercial borrowing that has grown so substantively and it's the one that is exerting maximum pressure. High interest rate, low repayment period. Mm -hmm. Now, the issue of did they factor in corruption? When you have a host of projects that you are disbursing funds to, and you're telling us that no feasibility studies were done. Uh, but because some work was being done, you had to complete those projects. You have factored in corruption. So corruption was factored in? When, when, when somebody was going out and telling people, I'm setting up a TTI here, I'm setting up, uh, I don't know what training here, I'm setting up this kind of training here, not properly procured, not tendered for, but political fiat, you are setting up the game. Mm -hmm. And parliament now is stuck with some of those projects and they're trying to figure out how to complete. They've even allocated some resources to complete projects that are not properly procured. Mm -hmm. What have you set people up to? Corruption. Yes. Let's take a look at another tweet. Danex Daniel says, there isn't anything good that comes out without sacrifice. The budget may be high, but it's fair. Focusing on the youth, technology, agriculture is what will transform this country. High, but fair. I agree with him that the focus must be correct. And we do not begrudge any situation that focuses on the youth, technology, and agriculture. Those are critical. What for, are we begrudging? For, for, for the, we are begrudging the area where there's massive public debt and there's nothing to show for it. Mm -hmm. Where has the money gone? Great, good question. Where has the money gone? Um, the debate will be sparked by the hallmark of frustrations and economic hardships Kenyans would have been exposed to. Let's take a look at another tweet. Dan Okari says, what are the clear methodologies that the government and treasury will adopt to attain a 3% deficit of GDP? They're in trouble because uh, they are telling us that uh, they intend to step up on uh, revenue collection. KRA has not been meeting those targets. Secondly, they are telling us that they've entered into a lot of obligations and they have to pay. I don't see how they will bring that GDP, the deficit from 5%, 5.6% mm -hmm. to the 3% within the time frame they're talking about. Mm -hmm. As we take two more tweets, maybe Joe could be working on giving me uh, feedback from WhatsApp and Instagram. San Kipkiri Ronald says, so the government has realized that it's not necessary to begin new projects, but rather focus on the old ones and finish them. This is something we've touched on. And then uh, Adano Kari also says, instead of scrapping off unnecessary foreign and domestic trips, the government is introducing an ECAD. Very impactful. Lol. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that one. Yeah. But I think... Uh, the communicator is saying that uh, the government must be more serious in rationalizing its expenditure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Be because the gimmicks of saying we're going to cut back uh, travel or we're going to, we, we all know that that is what they say, but within a very short time, uh, they're all over. Back to business as usual. As we take this last tweet uh, by Tricia, we prepare to cross over to Instagram and WhatsApp. Now she says, so the government wants to charge 10,000 shillings for Jira digital enrollment. I don't have a job. Where should I get this money from? That's the question. Now, if you pay the 10,000 for Jira uh, digital, and uh, what guarantee are they putting in place that after you've paid, you shall be a beneficiary? of the Jira digital platform mm -hmm. in terms of even getting some support 
to be able to do is your entrepreneurship. More like the housing fund 1.5? Yeah, which, which they are beginning to backpedal on. Okay. Um, Instagram, we did a poll and we asked, do you think the cost of uh, the budget will go down after budget reading? Now, only 11% said yes. A huge number, 89% said no. Let's take a look at some of what you guys heard to say. Mwende Mati says, he ni Kenya, I doubt anything will change. Uh, what I can tell you is that uh, that tells you the level of confidence that is in the government. If 89% of the people don't believe you, then you have got a lot of work to mm -hmm. do. Okay. Let's take a look at another tweet at MP underscore Dafrao. It's not a common trend of the government. They need more money to service their loans, so expect to suffer more. Spot on. Let's take a look at another. Akinyi Dori says, the government has a huge debt that it seeks to repay, so it will use the budget as a means to get more taxes from us. Additionally, even if the cost of one product reduces, another will increase price fault, cancelling any hopes of having a low cost of living. I agree with that person. We have a long journey, a long journey of sustained and consistent good governance mm -hmm. is required mm -hmm. before we can achieve this. Gentlemen, before we wind up, earlier on you'd mentioned 2022. You've heard previously. I think the only thing, before I answer that, I think there's only one issue mm -hmm. which is positive. Okay. Uh, and we may not have talked about. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, I'm not just a critic. Yeah. But one of the issues is that uh, the interest rate capping mm -hmm. is being proposed for repealing. Now, and it has taken three years. That is important. But you must remember that some of us cautioned against it. But this was a self inflicted piece of legislation because the Jubilee government through the TNA and when they were still one, they are the ones who brought the motion to cap the interest rates. And they have a majority. And for three years, they have been seeing that the small and medium uh, uh, enterprise sectors are not getting money, mm -hmm. but they never thought of repealing this. Yet they have a majority. Now, let us see. Will they use their majority to start correcting the economy? Or will they use their majority to frustrate the economy further? Mm -hmm. And speaking of majority, um, judging from the numbers from the previous election, mm -hmm. and you want to vie again, do you think that the, the trend which is tribal cocoons, tribal politics, can be outlived by politics that address pertinent issues? You know, one of the presidents I admire, um, admire most in terms of politics is uh, Abraham Lincoln. Mm -hmm. Abraham Lincoln contested several times and he made it. And Abraham Lincoln worked on the basis that he wanted to eliminate slavery and the negative practices mm -hmm. of his nation at that time. And he succeeded. He didn't give up. So the message I'm trying to put across here, losing one election cannot deter me from looking ahead. Mm -hmm. What new thing come 2022, Audi, which is this camera, camera three? Camera three, look into that camera. Ah, 2022, camera which is three. that camera three, right. What is the different thing that you're going to do that will spark Kenya into an economic take? I can tell you that the thing I want to do is to work with the young people of this country in particular. They are the ones that are going to help us. We have been spending too much time in this country thinking that the change can come from the top. It is time we realized that change must come from the younger people. Musali Mudavdi, thank you for making time. Thank you. And our studio is, uh, contains so many young people. Very uh. many people here are young. And we'll be holding you to account. Come 2022, we'll be asking, how are you going first to empower all, young people? First of all, you will be working with me. You will be riding with me so that we are then making the commitments together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's a commitment, yes. not leader, servant. It's yes. a partnership. It's a partnership. Okay. 
Thank you very much for making time once again. Asante we look sir. forward to engaging you. Okay. Well, we've come to the close of today's show. We are very grateful to every single person that took their time to tweet us, to talk to us on Instagram. We're also very grateful to our digital team um, that worked tirelessly to ensure that we were able to broadcast this program live on Facebook. Lawrence, who's been tweeting all along, um, sang and oh and who ensure that we were up and running on uh, on facebook so that those who cannot access us on television could access us on digital platforms our super producer sassy masiwanza we are grateful that you put this show together our directors uh audi and the uh the graphics team joe and uh, mulika and wendy we are grateful so guys that's the team the studio technical operators we want to say good night have a blessed night have a fruitful night enjoy the rest of your viewing but the conversation does not stop here. It continues online. Hashtag Metropole Debrief Art Ondero Ganga at Metropole TV KE Art Musalia Modavati. I'll see you again when I see you. Good night.